Okay, let's start at the beginning. This is the Nine of Cups. And now the Nine of Cups is actually a really great card. It's one for abundance, putting your priorities in order, um, giving help, receiving help. It's one of financial balance, um, one of having your dreams come true. So this is in the present time. So it looks like all that hard work, Capricorn, of making those changes, speaking your words with kindness, have brought kind of a comfortable change to you, a very comfortable change. You're growing a little bit. You're releasing some things. You're finding the bliss in life and simplified. It looks like you simplified your life a little bit over the last month or so. So really enjoying the fruits of your labor. Um, for many of you, it may be creating your wildest dreams, whether it's travel, whether it's um, owning your own business, but it's like you're really looking at things that make you happy and it's an abundant time for you. It's, it's a great time to start creating these abundance things because everything is in line for you to receive abundance. So it looks like all those chores you had to do over the last couple of months, I, it's, it's now at a slow roar. It's a manageable is at a manageable place. And now you're starting to see the fruits of all your labors. Emotionally, you've been um, very loved, it looks like, and receiving love, giving love. So there's a lot more balance, it looks like, in your world over the good things versus all the yucky things. So really prioritizing over the last couple of months, accepting those changes have brought you to kind of a calm place, a place of floating, a place of, you know, just seeing what uh, happens next. Just enjoying yourself a little bit more. What crosses you is a page of pentacles. Now, page can be messages. You have two pages here, three pages here. So, yes, I think some messages are coming to you. Uh, pentacles. Uh, can mean money or movement or education. Uh, the, they represent the earth. So that is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This may be a challenging child or a challenging person who acts like a child. But it's someone either Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I'm really feeling that this not also you. There are messages here. There's a ton of messages coming. But, you know, Christmas is coming. Solstice is coming. So um, we tend to communicate a little bit more outside of our just normal range. So I think more and more messages will be coming to you. Emails, letters, things like that. Um, but this page of Pentacles is feeling like either a child or, or an emotionally immature person that is challenging some of your changes, challenging some of um, the things that really work for you but don't work for them. It also looks like maybe you have released a little bit of responsibility taking care of people things um, and allowing others to um, own their own responsibilities, which seems to be a theme of last uh, last month. So it doesn't surprise me that it's being uh, pulled into the December reading. Uh, what is above you? This is great joy. This is the 10 of of cups. So this is emotional joy in it, joyfulness. This is connecting with family, connecting with children, really bringing things down to the basis, basics and enjoying each other, enjoying people and our relationships and our connections instead of um, monetary things, instead of, well, things in general, just really enjoying the emotional connections that you have with people and reveling in them. So that is what is above you. So that's kind of the general overall theme of what's going on. You're enjoying being a little bit more social, I should say, being a little bit more social Capricorn. I know you have your peaks and valleys of being social, but this is the time that you will come out of the cave and be a little bit more social with the people that you love and the people that matter in your world. So the next one, this is something that's just happened. It's the Page of Cups. Now, cups are em emotions, but they can stand for a person, usually someone under um, 30, usually can be a child, 
but um, actually can be someone who's just immature. But this is also messages. We have another page, page of cups. So that is emotions, can be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, but this doesn't feel like it's someone in conflict. It just looks like it's someone in a younger body that you have just connected with that um, that you looks like you either visited, made some plans with, um, or communicated about making plans about getting together with someone um, that has just happened. Another page. I'm sorry, you have all the pages. Oh my goodness, all the pages. So you are very balanced here with the communication, but it looks like it's just coming quick Fast and Furious at you. Page of Wands. Wands are fire. So that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Also stands for a young person. Can be a child. Can be an immature person. But also messages. Messages about movement. Messages about activities. It can be also someone that's very, very active or a fire sign. But it looks like you are really surrounded by people, um, young people, children, there's just about everybody here. I don't see a queen, but I do see just about everybody here. So it looks like Capricorn that you're coming out of um, your cave a little bit and communicating with people that make a difference in your world and letting them know they make a difference in your word, world and getting messages from these people also that you uh, make a difference in their world as well. So really connecting with the folks that matter in your life, surrounding yourself, it looks like with children for some reason, there is tons and tons of children here, Sagittarius. Well, it looks like recent you, recently you've had to walk away from some either habits, behaviors, promises, something that wasn't brought to fruition, and you've had to rely on your own skills and your own abilities. It looks like something that was put out there that was supposed to happen, supposed to happen, that it didn't happen until you put your efforts into it. Um, then it started to change uh, for the better, for uh, the decision happened because you put it in motion or the um, adventure or the decision because you put it in motion. But it looks like you had to walk away from a lot of other people's plans that didn't come to fruition. And you've just had to trudge off and do these things on your own. And you've done them very well and very quickly. So um, this is also lighting up for new beginnings, uh, new view. So you may be um, going on a hiking trip, camping trip, um, something to do with nature, getting outside. It could be just as simple, Sagittarius, as just getting outside a little bit more. I know it's kind of cold on the Western Hemisphere, but it's really enjoying what is around you and the gifts that God has presented us that don't cost a lot of money. So really breaking it down to the simpler things. And truly, as you have let go a lot of the things, the behaviors, the friends, you've realized that the simpler your life, the better. It brings you much more joy. Joy. You are able to heal yourself, start new beginnings on things, and really take a leap of faith into new activities and getting out in the world a little bit. So I think this is more getting out in the world a bit. Um, I'm sorry, I called you Sag. This is Capricorn. So Capricorn, um, marching into the unknown is not a bad thing at all. And um, some of the things that that thought you would get give you joy did not. Um, so just Mark, marching into the unknown and seeing what life has for you, but getting out in the world a little bit, smelling some, some clean, fresh air, getting a different view and a different perspective will help you clean your head out of all the superfluous things that are kind of going around and around in there that um, aren't necessary. So Cap, let's see. King of Wands. This is the foundation. This is the basis of what's going on. Wands can be movement, fire, um, are the wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm feeling this is standing for someone um, that you are working out an issue with, but it looks like someone who is um, of great integrity that is like a mentor to you, Capricorn, someone that you 
uh, hold in high regard and someone who seems to do the right thing, gets things moving for you and brings in clarity, helps the healing begin. So don't be afraid to ask for help. It looks like it's a mutual relationship where you have helped him in the past and now it is his turn. So it's a good balance. Um, it's a good person to ask for advice. And King is usually someone of great wisdom or over 40. Uh, someone who does the right thing, is responsible, and makes things happen. So um, taking a look at uh, the person around you um, and how they do, um, how they resolve issues, how they create things. So kind of just taking a page out of their book, but they're a really good person to ask for advice and they are here for your support. I mean, to support you. Uh, and this looks like it can be either a very close family uh, friend or um, someone that is in your heart space. Uh, not necessarily family, although it can be family, someone um, that has great advice. So don't be afraid to ask for that advice and to um, just put it out there so you can heal yourself. They have very, very good advice. The three of cups is here. Uh, that's jubilation, creating activities, reveling with the people from your heart looks like there's some friends um, that you have not checked in with for a while. I think that's why all the pages are showing up. All four pages are here. So Capricorn, it's now it's time to reconnect with some of those people from the past that you kind of let go of their relationships, whether it was from a disagreement or if it just was a time constraint or a geography, whatever it is, it is now time to reach out to those people that have meant so much in your life and to resolve things that that have kind of been left hanging. There's some things that have left hanging and it looks like all it takes is some awareness, some understanding and the willingness to compromise on both sides to really get back to that pure heart space and heal some of those relationships that you have either let go uh, for whatever reason um, or if there was a uh, communication challenge, disagreement, things like that. But it, it's time to clean that up and move forward in those relationships that were really from your heart that you kind of let go. Um, it is next to the Page of Swords, so there may be some cutting words involved here. Um, there may be some, may have been related to some behaviors, knee-jerk reactions, things like this. But there is some energy that needs to be cleaned up. And it looks like part of the responsibility is on you, Capricorn, to put your good foot forward, say your, uh, own your part of whatever the disagreement was so you can move forward into a brand new space with these folks. Um, and they really do love and support you, but it wasn't conducive for... Um, the two of you or the relationships to continue the way that they were. So it looks like it needed a little break from relationships. And now it's time to rekindle those really positive growth vibrations. You know, not all of them were healthy. You let go of a lot of them that were not healthy. But for the healthy ones that you want to continue to love and grow within, those are the ones you need to reconnect with CAP and um, if you owe someone an apology, I encourage you. It does look like you do. You owe an apology to someone. So please pull up your big girl, big boy pants and uh, put your good foot forward. Say those apologies. And I think you will be pleasantly surprised uh, that the others involved in here will own their their negative behavior so you can move forward in a healthy growth space. So Knight of Swords is here right next to the, let me see, this is the Seven, yes, the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups, 
can stand for two or three different things, actually. It's kind, it kind of can stand for when you're living in a dream world and you're not taking a look at reality, you're letting life pass you by. It also can mean you have made all these changes and I'm feeling much more in line with you have made tons and tons and tons of changes, Capricorn, over the last couple of months. So now your dreams, hopes, and desires need to change also. All the things that you have created as a child that you wanted to meet and master or learn, you've pretty much done mostly all of them, whether it was traveling to, to the Orient, whether it was, you know, um, getting that car you've always wanted, the two dogs and the lovely husband or wife and children. So all these things that you have already created, it's time to upgrade your hopes, dreams, and desires. And that's what this stands for. Uh, Knight of Swords, this can be someone, um, well, that's someone that lives in their head, that is an air sign, that can be an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, since there is no equivalent for the female version, it can be male or female, but this looks like someone that you have been doing things for, um, or could be a child, but it's some thing that needs to change. This is also part of the continuation of the changing and releasing more energy. So this person, um, and I'm feeling it's a male, I'm feeling it's a male that, um, that they are very capable, but it looks like you're finishing some karma with them. Some things that you have uh, done for them needs to be relinquished or turned over to them. This is part of the continuation of the changes, and so they can handle it. Can be a child, as I said, or a, or a dependent spouse, or um, an emotionally young parent, but this is some things that need to change and some communication that needs to happen to be on the same page, um, to speak with love and kindness since you are making these changes here and have continued to make those changes, Capricorn, at its time to make the dynamic change with this um, relationship as well. And it looks like it will benefit. It will move to a much more positive give and take rather than an enablement. It feels like an enablement that you are changing and allowing this person to fall on their face if they need to and pick themselves up when they need to or not. But they're really, really capable. Um, you have lots of faith in them. They just need a little bit of emotional boost, just an emotional boost, not necessarily financial or to solve their problem, but they just need a little bit of more um, positiveness towards um, just a more positive opinion of themselves. It looks like they take a lot of things out on themselves. So um, let them, if that is their if that is, is their bent and that is their process, allow them their process without jumping in and enabling them or fixing it. They will find the answers. They're truly, truly capable. King of Cups here, uh, that is a water sign. That's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It also can stand for taking the high road. Cups are emotions. So doing the right thing, being morally in line with what works for you. Um, it also looks like someone that has great knowledge and great advice for you. Uh, but it looks like you're looking for some answers, Capricorn. You're looking for some answers and you have some two very strong male uh, people that you can ask for advice um, that you truly trust. But it also, the King of Cups is lighting up for me to make the morally correct decisions. If you know that this is the right way to do it, even though it feels like the easy way, um, you know, take the easy route, don't. Take the morally correct way, rise above, um, even if it is more difficult, even if it is financially more difficult, um, take the choice that is, is the morally right choice for you. Um, if it feels hinky, don't do it. And it looks like it also can represent a test of 
behaviors from the past. This could be uh, part of sobriety. Um, this could be just a test of your will and your strength and doing the right thing. But it looks like you do come back to center and do the right thing um, and not living in the fantasy. Look at the issues as they are, not as you wish them to be. And redo that bucket list, Capricorn. It's time. It's time to redo the bucket list. You have met and mastered a lot of the challenges that you put out for yourself this lifetime. Okay, let's see. Facade. All right. And insecurity. Let's just go with those two since they were right there. So it's it's really time to release some of the insecurity, some of the questioning of things of your heart. Are you doing this right? Um, you know when you're doing something with integrity. Um, so trust yourself a little bit more. You have many gifts and lots of wisdom. As long as you're seeing what the truth of the matter is, you have two of these facade cars. So really look at how it is, not how you wish it to be. You can only, you can only uh, create resolution from a place of honesty and truth. And um, it's very rare that you see the Capricorns not being honest to yourself. So now it's time to be honest with yourself. Deal with the situation as it is. You will be able to resolve it if you look at it, no matter how painfully it is. Um, so you do have the facade card and the insecurity. And of course, when we live in this alternate, what's not based in truth, it does create a little bit more insecurity because it is not, it's not the actual. So, um, you're doing a great job. You have lots of skills. Start using them, looking at the situation as it truly